What up, everyone? It's your boy, Sir Tim Ali, the referent of the revolution, welcoming you to another edition of your Daily Revolution, the podcast that helps you to wake up, turn your brain on, and to prosper every single day in every part of your life. Today's topic, you get what you tolerate. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. So I arrived in Utah for spring break. My wife, my kids, I rented a car and something was off. Like it didn't feel right and my gut, my core was just telling me, this is not right and it was because they were charging me X amount of dollars. But I remember booking the car and it wasn't that much. Now I'm not all, like, I don't mind paying for a nice car or for a good rental for a nice hotel. But this one was off. So I got in the car, I drove in the parking lot, I brought it back and I gave it to the man at the counter and said, listen, I don't want to take it. And he says, why? And I was honest to say, it's too expensive, man. I already called Enterprise and it's going to be $100 cheaper for a bigger car. So thank you very much. I just want to make sure I'm not going to get charged. The man looks at me and says, you will not be charged. I said, I want to make sure I won't be charged anything. You will not be charged anything. I'll have my manager wipe it out. Okay, great. Three days later, I'm being charged nearly $70 for a car that I didn't use. Didn't even take off the premises. Now, normally with these types of things, I'm like, eh, dude, it's $70, whatever. Because what happens is the bandwidth that it chews on, like it takes my bandwidth and energy away. I called their number. It looped me for like 30 minutes. I'm getting ready to jump in my car, drive to the airport, and give them a piece of my mind. Now, why do I bring this story? Because I'm, I'm going to get what I tolerate. If I tolerate and if I accept this man lying to me, now, I don't know if he lied. I don't know if they're what, what the mistake is. All I know, the fact is, I'm being charged nearly $70 for a car that I didn't use. And that's like not even that big of a deal, right? If I had to drive an hour up and an hour back, there's two hours of my time. Well, definitely not worth $7. But you know what is worth my time? Not violating a principle. The principle simply is, he told me I would not be charged. I didn't use the car. Why would I pay $70 out of my wife and kids account? Now, I could go sell something. It's just not that much money. It really isn't that much money at all. It just isn't. But the principle here is really simple. If I tolerate this, if I allow this to slip, you know how many other quote-unquote budget rental car things happen like this where they say, hey, you won't be charged, you get charged, and you just let it go? Hundreds of thousands into the millions of dollars. You know how many gift cards don't ever get used? Now, I'm not saying that, you know, hey, this is a lot of money, $70. It's just not that much. But you're going to get what you tolerate. So what are you tolerating in your life today? Exactly, are you tolerating and putting up with? Seth Godin, author of many books, phenomenal entrepreneur and leader and, and a thought leader, says that it is tiring and it is exhausting to defend mediocrity. So, do you continue to tolerate mediocrity in life? Let's take a look at your body. Are you tolerating, again, think about the principle here. If you tolerate it, you're going to get what you tolerate. So what are you tolerating inside of your physicality and health? Man, I know so many people today that are so out of shape, underweight, overweight, unhealthy, addicted to some type of sugar, food, carb, drug, doesn't matter what it is. And yet they wonder why they can't change their life. They wonder, well, you know, I, I want to make more money. I want to be happier with my family. I want to have greater relationships. But, dude, you're like 100 pounds overweight. Come on, man. You've tolerated being overweight. You've tolerated not being to walk up a flight of stairs without breathing heavily. Like, when did defending mediocrity become your stand? Take a look at your spirituality, your being. What are you tolerating that's allowing you to get what you get? If you're a, a spiritual guy, right, and you believe in like right or wrong, good or bad, then why do you continue to tolerate things in your life that don't bring you what you want? Why do you continue to tolerate and put up with spiritual mediocrity, spiritual laziness, spiritual blindness with your relationships? What are you tolerating that it, that's like giving you what you don't want? I can tell you right now, in my own relationships, there are some things we don't tolerate in our home. One of them is name and calling. 
like making fun of like each other. We don't tolerate that. I also told my boats, we don't tolerate being picked, getting picked on. That's not how we roll in this family. And you definitely don't tolerate bullies. You ever, ever see anyone getting bullied? You put the bully on the ground. Now, obviously, I get pretty excited, but, you know, there's more peaceful ways to, to talk through it. I get it. But I won't tolerate it. I won't tolerate anything like, you know, the other day I was with the, at a conference and I, and I see married people flirting with other married people. And I think, well, what's wrong with this picture? And I call this, this dude out. I'm like, aren't you married with kids? He's like, yeah. I was like, why are you so touchy-touchy with that lady? He's like, dude, come on, man. I'm not, and I like basically stopped him cold in his tracks. I said, dude, that's unacceptable. Would you be happy if your wife was sitting on some dude at a conference? Don't tolerate that. Like, if you tolerate it, you're going to get it, and it's going to lead you down a path to things that you do not truly want, which means you got to be clear about what you want and why it matters to you. So what are you tolerating right now inside of your marriage? What are you tolerating with your children? What are you allowing them to do that would eventually hurt them or cause them real harm and pain down the road? And what about yourself? What are you tolerating and, and putting up with and allowing to have happen in your personal life, personal relationships? That way, if it's not killing you today, we'll kill you later. Oh, and then let's talk about the business. This is where so many people like fall short because they tolerate mediocrity. They tolerate being complacent. They tolerate being good enough. Now, I get it. There's a distinction here, right? You are good enough. You really are. You have everything inside of you that you need to, to be able to succeed. But when did you begin to tolerate settling for third and fourth place? When did you begin to tolerate and accept as okay, operating at 40 to 50%. Come on now, you're better than that. You're gonna get what you tolerate. So what are you willing to say, hey, this is not negotiable. No longer is this going to be tolerated in our home. There are things that my wife will not tolerate with me. There are things that I will not tolerate with her. Now these are like for us, it's real simple. But she would never tolerate me like fraternizing or, uh, or flirting with, with some other woman. I would never do that. And I know she would never do that. My wife cannot, can't tolerate with me being lazy, even being overweight, being unhealthy. Come on, now I married this woman. I need to be attractive and healthy and powerful and I'm living on purpose for her. And the same thing with me. She takes care of our home, takes care of our clothes, our boys, our food, our shopping. She's a mother. She does phenomenal. I'm the same way. I put money in the account. I lead my boys. I lead our family. I'm the leader of my family. So let's take a look at your life one last time here. What are you currently tolerating that is not giving you what you want, that if you were to stop tolerating, it would give you what you wanted. It would allow you to move through life more effortlessly and powerfully to bring you the results you want. As far as this refund of near $70 to budget, budget, I'll never rent from you again. I am mad at you. I just realized like you don't care about your customers. You overcharge. Because here's on the flip side. I took the car back. I walked over to Enterprise, got my reservation. And by the time that I came back in, the, the, the budget's line was super long. And I was like, in and out of Enterprise super fast. So not that I'm getting any kind of affiliate marketing commissions for uh, promoting Enterprise Car Rental, but you guys have been A-OK -okay in my book. So no longer will I tolerate violation of principle. I will not tolerate this. Yeah, but it's not even like it's pennies. It's nothing. But there's a lesson to be learned here. I will not tolerate it. What will you finally say in your life? I will not tolerate these things anymore. I am done tolerating the mediocrity. I'm done tolerating lying. I'm done tolerating like, being bullied or suppressing. And I'm, I'm done tolerating for Satema, creating stories that say I can't do hard things physically. Kokoro 45, September, it's coming. And I will be ready for it. What are you preparing for? What will you take a bold stand for today? The revolution has begun. It is about prosperity. And if you want to prosper, you've got to decide what you are unwilling to tolerate and then take the bold stand for it. This is your boy, Satem Angali, reminding you if you want to create a life that you love, a life of real radical results, it's going to require you to get into a relentless pursuit. 
with that sincere, ruthless commitment to pay the piper every single day, to get to the top of your mountain where your promised land, your possibilities, your prize are waiting, just waiting for you. I'm out. For more info on joining the revolution and living your greatest life of prosperity today, go to www.yourdailyrevolution.com and join us in waking up, turning your brain on, and prospering today.